And we're live at nine uh, does uh, kick, off, kick us off and uh, you already know that we are into the season leading up uh, to Mother's Day celebrations and Adam Mayambala is for us uh, in uh, Naguru where uh, the team from uh, Nebi is right now spending the night. Adam, give us a sense of what is there and take us through uh, what else you have been up to in those regards uh, for the rest of the day. Samson, I'm here in Naguru at Our Lady and uh, Jude Parish here in Naguru, where the pilgrims from Nebi that are uh, said to be are going to be headed, uh, heading the Catholic uh, prayers at Namgongo. And of course, as you can see, they, are, they, they have a, 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 a campfire here and they are gathered here. There's something like a ground uh, around here where they're going to sleep. Um, uh, some of them, we've uh, found of them eating food and uh, of course a lot of things are happening here. There are tents there where they're going to sleep. So 500 of them are already here and uh, I want you to take you to the story to see what transpired during day. <laughs> At the stroke of 10.30 in the morning, like a river flowing into a welcoming sea, the pilgrims from West Lyre shepherded by the Nebi Diocese poured into Kampala. Their arrival sparked waves of joy and excitement among those who had gathered across the streets of Kawempe with their hearts beating in rhythm with the approaching footsteps. <laughs> The pilgrims, who included leaders from the Nebi Catholic Diocese and members of parliament from the region, were escorted by police to ensure their safe passage. Upon reaching Kawempe Market, they were warmly received by the waiting supporters who provided them with eats and drinks. Their appearance, marked by sweat and swollen feet, told the story of their long journey of two weeks. Nevertheless, they had arrived triumphantly. It's a demonstration of my faith. Faith is not just by words. I need to make action. Yes, I want us to be in peace at our home. Yes, our home will be in peace. The journey of 500 kilometers at these Pilgrims have moved from Nebi is finally over. We are here in Kawempe Division. They have arrived in Kampala amid its cheers and ululation from those bystanders. And we expect them to stay at Naguru and then maybe they would proceed to the Catholic Shrine or the Anglican Shrine at Namgongo or the events that will happen on Monday. We are still moving with these pilgrims. From Kawempe Mbogol, they went through Northern Bypass, where they were cheered by many, including students who left their classes to catch a glimpse of them. At Bukoto Roundabout, they were greeted by more well wishes, complete with drum beats and cheers. The pilgrims then crossed Bukoto Hill heading towards Naguru. Among them was an 83-year-old who, despite his age, walked the entire 500 kilometers without showing signs of fatigue, continuously singing with his fellow pilgrims. They were welcomed warmly at St. Jude Catholic Church. They had finally made it. Samson, what, what we know of now is that tomorrow there's going to be a mass here at around 9. And after 9, these pilgrims are going to start their procession of faith to Namugongo, uh, where, of course, uh, the events will be culminating on 3rd of June uh, to remember the Uganda martyrs that were killed on the orders of Kabaka Mwanga. But right here, they're having fun, some soothing music, food, the fire is here and everything as you can uh, know. Samson, back to you at the Political Command Center. Well, thanks a lot, Adam Mayambala. Now, right here at the Anglican Matters site, the Pilgrims Registration Desk has already registered about 500 pilgrims, and these are spanning over five dioceses. This includes the South, uh, the South uh, Ankole Diocese, 
the Mbale Diocese, the Lango Diocese, uh, the Namirembe Diocese, and uh, at least the Mbale Diocese. Now, uh, also Chigezi, we have been uh, tipped on earlier by Eno Krukondo, one of the people on the organizing committee right here, and he has told us that right now prayers are taking place, and that's why you're not seeing uh, ululations and pomp and glamour in my background, because people are up there happening uh, to be in prayers, and those prayers are being led by uh, Reverend Dembele Ayesu and his uh, team. Uh, tomorrow we've been tipped off again that uh, the men's ministry prayers will be happening, and those will be led by the provincial uh, men's coordinator Samuel Bakutana. Those will be happening from 8 a.m. up to 4 p.m. right here. And now the theme is uh, transformation through Christian values. We also know that the theme for this year's Matters Day celebrations right here at the Anglican Matters site is uh, conforming to the truth of God and not to the patterns of the world. And that is coming from the book of, Rev uh, the book of Romans. We also expect uh, uh, a guest preacher who will be the Archbishop of the Church of Nigeria to be the guest preacher right here as we will be led uh, by the do, uh, the most reverend Dr. Samuel Kazimba Mugalu. Those will be, or those are the updates right from this particular area, and we shall be keeping you up to date with the minute by minute and 360 coverage of the Martyrs Day celebrations in Namugongo for this particular year. Now heading over to the Catholic uh, shrine 